Greg, Greg, for now, though, we have a follow-up to a story that you saw first here last night in the News 8 update. An NFL football player and his wife trying to get to her dying mother's bedside stopped by a Dallas police officer in a hospital parking lot. And News 8 has obtained exclusive footage, which shows the officer refusing to allow Houston Texan running back Ryan Motes to see his mother-in-law. It sparked outrage across North Texas. News 8's Rebecca Lopez broke this story, and she joins us now live with an update. Rebecca? News 8 has received hundreds of emails and viewer comments on this story. The Dallas Police Department has placed the officer on restricted duty and says this kind of behavior is unacceptable. Something new, though, that we have learned since last night. Dallas police have confirmed that immediately after Officer Robert Powell got out of his squad car, he drew his weapon on Ryan and Tamisha Motes. This is video of a Dallas police officer pulling over a family trying to get to the bedside of a dying relative. As they pull into the Baylor Hospital parking lot in Plano, this is what happens. Get in there. Let me see your hands. Get in there. Get. Put your hands on the car. Do you understand? Tamisha Motes, whose mother was dying, ignored Officer Robert Powell's commands and rushed to see her mother. But Officer Powell detained her husband, Houston, Texas running back Ryan Motes. I got seconds before she's gone, man. Motes can't find his insurance paperwork and is desperate to leave. Hey, listen, if I can't verify you, my, my mother is dying to me. right now. Listen. You wasting my time. If I can't verify you have insurance, I'm going to take the car. So you either find it or I'm going to take the car. As they argue, the officer gets irate. Shut your mouth. There you go. Shut your mouth. You can cooperate and settle down, or I can just take you to jail for running a red light. We talked to the NFL running back by phone. He says he's never in his life been treated like this. For him not to be even, even sympathetic. Uh, at all about like basically like we're dogs or something you know like we don't even matter um, it just it basically shocked me I can screw you over yes, I'd rather sir. not do that your attitude will dictate everything that happens yes, and right now your attitude sucks twice the hospital sends nurses to try and get the officer to let moats go we're coding her for the third time and even a Plano officer who stops to help makes a plea Hey, that's mm -hmm. that's the nurse. She yeah. said that the, the mom's dying right now. And she's one of those get him up there for us. Right. After more than 20 minutes, the officer ticketed Motes for running a red light. And after all of that... I went up after she passed. I just held her hand, you know, but she was already gone. Dallas police have apologized, dropped the ticket, and launched an investigation. So officers do have discretion. And so, like I said, we expect them to use good judgment. And uh, like I said, we feel like... Uh, this officer may have, uh, could have used better judgment in this case. Moat says he appreciates the apology of the department that says he still missed an important moment in time that he'll never get back. Now here are so, just some of the viewer comments that we have received uh, today. Uh, here's one of them. It says, that is such abuse of power that officer needs to be fired. I understand he had a job to do, but would it have been much for him to follow the gentleman into the emergency room and do his job while his family gets the opportunity to say goodbye to their loved one. Another one, this sickens me and everyone who has read this story. There is no reason for an officer to treat anyone with disrespect, especially if there is obviously extravagant circumstances such as these. Mr. Motes has, was robbed of a moment in life that he will never get back and all because the police officer didn't care. Here's another one. I couldn't believe this one when I saw the video. It is so disturbing to know that some of our cops are that inhumane. My thoughts and prayers are with Ryan, his wife, and their family. Now, the Dallas Police Department says it has been inundated by phone calls, angry phone calls from outraged citizens. They've gotten media calls from all over the country, and they're going to hold a news conference at two, possibly with Chief David Kunkel. Now, just a few minutes ago, they did hold a huge command staff meeting to view the tape and are trying to determine what to do next. Reporting live, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. All right, Rebecca, we'll get an update from you later as well. Thank you.